Public speaking is an important skill in both of the workplace and in our personal lives, according to the experts. In the UAE, for example, there are 200 nationalities that live and work together every day. And at the same time, international, regional and local events happen throughout the year. While not everyone is expected to address a crowd, achieving a certain level of public speaking skills is beneficial, says Kevin Abdulrahman, an author and motivator. Our correspondent Khadija Sali has the story. Have you ever spoken to an audience and have people staring at you wide-eyed? Ever wondered if they're still listening or fighting to stay awake? Public speaking coach and author Kevin Abdulrahman says whether you're speaking to a group of five or 5,000 people or more, possessing the right public speaking skills is critical to delivering your message. And more importantly, achieving the results expected. Your ability to present with power and actually speak to impact, inform, influence or inspire reflects on how people will view you, uh, your value proposition. Um, your business if you're representing one, and ultimately your credibility and your competence. Addressing a crowd of professionals and business owners at a recently concluded event in Dubai, the man inspiring millions says it is a critical skill to have. Over 70% of our time is actually spent in communication. So we spend 70% of our time persuading, influencing, informing, selling, pitching, you name it. It's just that when it comes to it, people realize, oh my gosh. I haven't developed my public speaking skills. And I often work with a lot of great people who are very good at what they do, but they just come to this realization, whoops, it's been overlooked. And then you get the whole aspect of being bored or being important. This applies to job hunting. This applies to an entrepreneur that's pitching for an idea. This applies to a CEO that's wanting to lead a team. This is the difference. If you're undeveloped, unrefined, and unpolished, you're seen as less capable and less credible. But just like any skill, Kevin says it takes time and commitment to perfect. In addition to the tips in his newly released book, 60 Minutes to Better Public Speaking, he says there are key elements to a good speech, including starting off differently, identifying the key message, and maintaining the flow. End with impact. People remember the first things you say and the last. So make sure that your last words resonates with the message you would like to deliver. It's not about you. It's about the audience. Um, often all the stress, um, anxiety, people feeling they're going to get butterflies or they're about to faint, it's all self-centered. They're thinking about themselves. Forget about you. You are speaking to deliver a message. Think about the audience. Care for the audience. And when you think that way, all those feelings go away. Lack of confidence, having a speech impediment or anxiety attacks before speaking are normal, says Kevin. It happened to King George VI of Britain and still happens to everyone at one point or another. The idea, he says, is to move on and become better prepared when it's time to deliver your own King's speech. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.